So I will leave the tuning bit to the professionals or at least the people that knows how to or at least have the patience. But we can see here now 29.27 mil hashes, zero re rejected. I think that's fairly good. And uh, this is like the tune I'm using currently. Just enable these down to 500, 800. I think when I put it like to seven to this 800 range, it doesn't really do too much. But we can see we have at least uh, gone from 100 watts down to 57. You can probably get it down to 50 with the same result, I'm not sure. And then I just pumped up the max frequency on the VRAM to full. And we can see the card is running very cold when mining, so should last for a long time. So uh, when it comes to kilojoules, the effective uh, per watt is like 511.4. I had it higher up here. I don't really remember my settings back then, but uh, yeah, as we can see, at least this is when you just go to tune it to max VRAM, you get around like 100 watts, and then you are at like uh, let me scroll up here uh, 270 effective. And now we are down to at least 511 with 57 uh, watts. So um, maybe do some more tuning and it will be even better at uh, mining. But when it comes to temperatures and such, I'm really relieved. Uh, I think it will be a good mining card, this one. The only unfortunately, unfortunate thing is that it costs so much money though. But that is because of the current situation. And just using nice sash, you can you get more money probably if you were to directly mine with another miner. But I want bitcoins in the end, so I'm not sure if when it comes to like the transaction fees and such, I probably earn a little bit less with nice sash, but the difference shouldn't be too large, I guess. At 1.191 at the moment, but. At least we see 29 mil ashes with a fairly good uh, power usage.